All right, so from here I can see Walmart. All right, so that didn't uh, come in very well, but at least it's visible. And it's a definitely a nice hill here. Going back will be easier. So some kind of a rideshare area. Take the bicycle route that way. Get across the bridge next to a vineyard. You see the type of leaves that we got. Beautiful mountains off in the distance. And so I'm trying to find the road that gets me to Walmart. All right, so all these grapes support a winery. And there, there's like, like 30, 40 cars parked over there. All right, I get the impression they're drastically changing this road. It says I just go straight across to, to get to the other side. But I'm not quite seeing it so visibly. And also I got another, my, I got a flat on my back tire again. Well, getting over to Walmart on foot is not very friendly. I don't, it, it, uh, the Google map says you just go across this. It's like, it's saying the shoulder is closed and it's, it's like a one way or something. I just, I don't, I don't like it. That's for sure. I, I guess I won't be walking to, to Walmart, which is just over there. I just, I'll just, I'll, I'll drive, take the chance, try to park overnight, take the chance. Yeah, you can clearly see that this is a, a one way. I would be going against the traffic. You couldn't ride against that, walk against it, I suppose, but it looks very, very narrow. All right, I'm a little tired. But, I mean, I had to wait for the sun to go down. I want to get to Walmart, a different Walmart, Whoa. Um, later in the evening. Oh my god. I see my gas needle is down to E, practically. I'm going to need to look for somewhere good to go. It's only three miles, but it's it's like mostly on highway, and that's what I dread. And there's a lot of maniacs on the road. I don't. Yeah, it's. No. Oh yeah. A lot of maniacs on the road. Okay, I'm taking all the right here, and then. Get on that main road. Mm, I'm pretty much going from one city to the next. Uh, yeah, I am taking a left. Oh, oh my goodness. It's time to get moving. Taking a left. Oh, it's a big, big, big left. Okay, that was a big left. All right, so I just gotta be cautious about this three mile drive and watch out for everybody. I've never driven this route. I was on it on my bicycle and I didn't even make it to Walmart because it's just like not safe. There's they don't have any pedestrian access to Walmart. It's crazy. And, and it's under construction, so I guess that's the construction that's the reason why I can't access Walmart safely uh, as a pedestrian. Maybe they're going to make it all really wide and, and stuff. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Stop, go. So busy still. And it's like, I don't know, 9 o'clock at night maybe? And then I got people who come up behind me so fast and hard. 
after having to stop for a stoplight or a traffic jam. But yeah, yeah, I take a right here. <laughs> I was trying to figure out where do I go. Alright, so it's the right here and... Oh, I just don't like it. It's not a nice, comfortable drive. This whole area, the Tri-City driving is... is really uncomfortable. 75 degrees. Okay, it says I, I need to go 70 miles an hour. Oh my god. It's such a rush. Oh, only take a right? I don't think so. Oh! That's a little too soon, I gotta get over the bridge. And I had somebody honk at me. It's very bad driving. This this is bad driving. I really don't like this. If you wanna bounce around the Tri-City area, it is crazy. Where I was just hanging out, I heard several honks. It's just a regular road. I got honked at. It's, you know, I can't even tell where where my turn is. Oh man, I'm thinking it's it's probably here. I'll just do it here. Wow, three B. I see the Walmart. If I turn, if I've turned a little sooner than I should, it's I should be able to probably make make that up. But I could see the Walmart sign, and I'm thinking if I could if I could see that sign, then there's a good chance that um, it should be easy to access. Um, at least I'm off. Whoa, Jesus! It's a just a curve. Such a screwy road. All right, so I'm trying to get over to Walmart. The next left is what it comes down to. The next left. People are darting here and all over the place. I'll try this. I just, I think that with a lot of these large, oh my God, that's not it. Ah, man, that's it. That's actually it. That's actually it. Oh. It's just so darn busy. This is Walmart right here. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. I don't see any signs to prevent me from parking overnight. Um, maybe you have to get in deeper. No, nothing over there. Maybe. Oh, God. There's people just all over. Okay, yeah, no overnight parking over here. For, oh, nope. Actually, it just says for sale vehicles. I think I'll just park here and be fine because I don't... For sale vehicles, if that's the only concern. No big deal there. These guys take, instead of certified nursing, CN, they're calling it critical nursing for energy workers? That means it's for the nuclear plant. I feel kind of good about boiling them potatoes. I guess uh, that's, well that's, that's a, a challenge. It's a challenge um, when it's raining. If it's gonna rain, at walking around outside the car is not a fun option. Not the best. Not the best option. This used to be the post office. You can see the sign, and it's built to suit up to 14,000 square feet. And they got a phone number, and they took down the post office sign up here in front, I guess.
the city is like it's, it seems like it's doing okay but there's there's definitely a lot of empty space in between the fancy Greek stores and I restaurants and Italian restaurants you got broken down buildings and and uh, thrift stores next to the month oh is this a part of the Italian experience I thought this is the Italian restaurant it's also a train too but in between these these restaurants you got like this building here it's completely empty and like for sale and the next to it is is uh, the thrift store my first impressions of, of Richland are that it seems like it's putting on its best effort to to appear to be an affluent city but there's there's a lot of in between gray areas where the there's buildings going out of business and and so how do, how do they make up for that maybe the affluent uh, agenda may be a little too strong and they have to scale back so there are McDonald's that have outlets at practically every table like this one and there are McDonald's that don't don't offer a single outlet it's really amazing how they choose uh, which McDonald's should have outlets I can't decide how they decide. I'm not sure how much this costs. So when I car camped last night, I put out my camp tent, started the campfire, roasted some marshmallows, put on some mosquito repellent, dug a hole to, to poop and pee in, and whatever else is involved. Alright, so I was foolish enough to consume every last bit of this tomato, even the oil, and that's now causing problems with my chest, with my heart. It's hard, it's hard on my heart. Hard on the liver, maybe, which is hard on the heart. So I'm dealing with that. I just want something to mix with my potatoes and this is not a good idea.
<laughs> you know, one of my biggest complaints about wearing a bag, the side bag thing, is that when I take off my my strip, when I want to take it off, I'm constantly hitting my the bill of my hat, and trying to, it's always trying to take my hat off. <laughs> 